Guys, what is up? We are out riding another e-bike today, and today I am riding another high boy product here, and this one is called the C1 Folding Electric E-Bike. This is definitely one of the most compact e-bikes I've ever ridden, and it gets even more compact because you're able to fold down the handlebars, which is pretty crazy. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is the usual. We're going to do some speed tests, brake tests, give you guys a little specification rundown on the high boy C1. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's just dive into it. So the High Boy C1 is definitely marketed as a very compact uh, commuter. If you'd like to ride it around on longer trips, you definitely can. It is geared a little more towards the streets and smoother surfaces, not so much off-road. But it is capable of going in the dirt if need be. It does have suspension in the front, but no suspension in the rear. The High Boy C1 is also equipped with front and back mechanical brakes, and they stop the bike very nicely. No issues at all there. The C1 is also equipped with a headlight and you can toggle that on and off by just pressing the center button once that'll turn it on and you press it again once to turn it off the c1 has a twist throttle on the right side which feels very smooth and very snappy packaging was nice and compact it was light uh pretty much opened this thing up lifted it out folded the bars up put a few screws in and this thing was ready to ride and assembly of this thing was insanely fast and insanely easy it charged fully up in just a handful of hours no issues at all and uh now we're out cruising it the c1 is equipped with three different speed modes the first being eco the second being drive and the final fastest speed mode being s for sport and if you would like to toggle between your three different speed modes you're going to press the center button twice quickly and that will toggle through each of those uh, three speed modes. What we're gonna do is pedal through these to get an idea of how fast we can go in each of them if we're doing the same pedal input for all of them. So right now we are in eco. I'm pedaling, we're going about 10 miles per hour. We're gonna double click that center button, kick it up into drive, which is our middle speed mode. And I'm doing about the same amount of pedaling. And right now it's really keeping us at the same speed, just a little bit faster but I can tell the bike is working harder, so I'm not having to pedal quite as hard. Now we're gonna double click it and put this thing into sport mode. So where you guys are gonna notice the biggest difference in all three of these modes is mainly your th your twist throttle here. Uh, pedal assist doesn't really change too much between the three, but in eco mode, full throttle, it's gonna take you around nine to 10 miles an hour. We're gonna double click and put it into drive mode, full throttle here. This is now gonna bump us up to 15 miles per hour. So, you know, if you wanna go just a little faster, but still just kind of cruise, uh, that's going to be your standard mode there, drive right in the middle. We're going to double click it one more time to our fastest mode, which is sport. And this is now going to take us to our top speed, which is 20 miles per hour. And onto the display, you guys, this is obviously the display right here in the middle. It's not a bad display, but it's not very bright. So right now in broad daylight, it's a little hard to see. You have your battery percentage at the very bottom and you have your speedometer at the top. And then beneath that is your mode that you are in. So again, right now, now we're in sport mode so right now you guys we're coming up to the stop sign i'm going 20 miles per hour let's go ahead and give it a stop and test these brakes out here we go those are very very strong very touchy i was actually not expecting them to stop that hard wow so the brakes big thumbs up there those things have a lot of stopping power for this little bike that was actually kind of impressive the high boy c1 is also equipped with a little click bell here on the left side gotta love that and the seat you guys has ventilation it's fully adjustable and being a traditional bicycle style seat it's comfortable, all considered. Another cool feature that the High Boy C1 has to offer is it can connect to the smart app that High Boy has, and uh, it'll pretty much just track everything on your phone, like the trips you've taken. I believe it even tracks certain things like how much battery you have left, how fast you're going, things like that. Uh, it all connects Bluetooth to your phone. I personally have not used their app yet, but it is a really, really cool thing to have access to. And I really suggest if any of you guys pick up the C1 to give it a shot. All right, you guys, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and hop this curb, actually. We're gonna pull over and look over some of the specifications, get some closer looks for you guys of the C1. So you guys can decide if this is maybe the affordable compact e-bike that's right for you. And while I'm on our way to the spot to get some clips for you guys, this is clearly off-road in the dirt, as you guys can see. There's some bushes, there's some rocks, there's some ruts. There's a few little things of everything. And you can see, even though this bike isn't full on made to go off-road, it can definitely handle it if need be. It's gonna be maybe a little bumpy in the back, but other than that, it's not gonna have any issues taking you out in the dirt if you choose to do so. All right, guys, let me pull up here. We're gonna set this thing up. And I'm gonna give you a little rundown of the High Boy C1. All right, you guys, this is the High Boy C1 electric folding bike right here. This thing is gonna charge for you guys in just a handful of hours, and it's going to get you up to 43 and a half miles per charge, which is great for such a small, compact bike. 
and uh, that can get you around without having to recharge it often. That's a good amount. Over 40 miles for such a small bike is solid. And the battery you're charging is a 36 volt, 7.8 amp hour battery. So it is a small battery, but again, it's gonna get the job done and take you, I mean, over 40 miles per trip. So that's solid numbers. This bike can carry up to 230 pounds. And this is the seat I was talking about, you guys, fully ventilated in the middle. And it is very cushy, very soft and fully adjustable. Mounted on the back side of the seat is a reflector and a fully integrated taillight that flashes when you hit the brakes to warn other riders and drivers behind you that you're slowing down. So that's definitely a good feature. The bike has small wheels, 14 by just over two inch tires. That's how big they are. They're mainly for the street, but like I said, you can take them off road if need be. And you're going to air these things up anywhere from 35 to 45 PSI. Along with the tail light, the C1 is also equipped with a headlight in the front. It's very bright, does a great job of lighting up your path at night. And it also has a reflector beneath it for safety uh, when you're riding any time of the day, really. And per usual, High Boy did a good job of putting their badge here in the front and a good job painting their logo there on the center crossbar. Um, overall, this is an insanely compact bike, but it definitely can handle a lot at 230 pounds. Uh, that's a lot of weight you can put on this thing. Charging port is behind this little handle back here. You pull this down and this little rubber cap here is where you're going to charge your bike. The motor in the back is a 350 watt motor. So again, that's what gets you going, keeps you going about 20 miles per hour if you're going to put it maxed out. And again, over 40 miles per charge. So not bad at all. And for you guys that have even smaller cars, this is the lever you're going to just pull up, pull it down, and these bars are going to collapse all the way down. So now you can see what was a compact bike before is even more compact now. And then to put this thing back how it was, you just pull those up, push that clamp down, snaps into place, you're good to go. One thing I will say, you guys, I don't love about the bike is the tiny kickstand on the back. If wind hits this, uh, it does want to fall over quite easily. I actually tipped it over one time, and uh, that's really my only complaint the other complaint, which is pretty typical with a lot of these bikes, is the rear and front mudguard. Uh, they don't really stay perfectly straight all the time. They seem to rattle loose a lot. So a lot of times I like to take them off, but I haven't taken these off yet. I've left them on. So yeah, you guys, that is the High Boy C1 folding electric bike. It takes you 20 miles per hour. It's only going to cost you about $499. So again, everything you're getting for $499, you can whip this thing around and... I mean, you can go a long way. You can go a lot of miles. And again, for that price tag, it's really hard to complain. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I'm going to try to get you a discount code. All the links to get your very own High Boy C1 will be in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time.